What's up, pimps? And welcome back to Pikachu Eevee. Oh, wow, I already screwed up the title. Let's start that over. Hey guys, it's Hedgy, and we're back with some more Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Last time, we made our way to Vermilion City, surfed aboard the SSN, and got the um, secret technique chopped down. This episode, it's time for the third gym. Let's do this! Alright. Hello. <laughs> Hi, you. I gotta talk to you, right? I've been waiting for you, champ in the making. Lieutenant Surge here is the gym leader in this city. He's an expert on electric-type Pokemon and a real tough guy. Flying and water-type Pokemon don't do well against matched up against electric-types. You'll also want to watch out so your Pokemon don't get stuck paralyzed. And here's my last tip. Lieutenant Surge is the cautious type. He's put barriers between himself and the rest of this room, so it won't be easy getting to him. Alright, do you know what? We get to play a game of find the trash can. Find the trash can, win a prize, win a prize, win a prize. All right, I probably should have healed. Let me go heal real quick. <laughs> kind of forgot to do that. Wow, I feel like an idiot. Hey, we're back. We're back at the Vermilion City Gym, Le Pokemon Gym, Ver bleh. Vermilion City Pokemon Gym, Gym Leader, Lieutenant Surge, Certified Trainers, Chibi. Of course it is, because why not? Now let's play a game of find the trash can. Find the trash can, win a prize. There's only trash. There's only trash. I don't think the button's ever gonna be in the one that, that, uh, in the blue or red trash cans. I don't know why those exist, but no trash. Nope, just trash. Nope, just trash. I'm gonna try to avoid talking to trainers if at all possible. There's a switch. Push it. Okay. It's never gonna be in the blue trash can. I don't even know why there are blue and red trash cans there. But, look at, nope, only trash. Dang it. <laughs> so let's do this again. So it may have been in the trash can above it. Wait, wouldn't it be in the same one? <laughs> yeah, see, it's in the same one. <laughs> I think they made it a little easier in this game because they knew, crap. I was hoping I wouldn't have to run into somebody. Why do you have a, why do you have a megaphone? I mean, you're good at electricity, that's why I joined this gym. Hey, it's Rudy personified. I knew it. <laughs> Rocker Bailey. Wait, why do you have a megaphone? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, hi, Voltorb. Gaia, go ahead. Your turn. I don't know why I brought Gaia out. Probably because his Pokemon are level 22. What? Okay. Double kick. He's not... Uh, it's a Thundershock. Oh, dear. He's faster. That's fine. That's cool. That's not cool. I'm paralyzed. Crap. That's fine. I did get the double kick off. I do need to get a quick attack off. Though. I'm pretty sure I can get a quick attack, right? Let's see. Quick attack. No. Dang it. Alright, you, and you're sending the light screen. Gives you special, uh, special defense. Yeah. Let's try this again. Quick attack. Alright, there we go. Alright. So I need that stab bonus for quick attack. The fact that you have to scream in that megaphone makes no sense, game. Or Bailey, or whatever your name is. Another quick attack. Probably should destroy it, right? Yes, that's one down. Okay. And we got some points. I need to level up my team. Another Voltorb. But we're going to send out Jess. I need Jess for this gym. I honestly should probably... If I can teach Eevee Dig, that'd be great. If I can teach Eevee Dig, this gym is all butt through. Unfortunately, I mean, I do have two Pokemon that are resistant to electricity. I don't know how long they're going to last. But I do have two Pokemon that are resistant to it. Swift. That's going to hurt a little bit. But Dig is going to hurt quite a bit. Honestly, it made more sense in here than it does in the, uh, than it does in, um, the SSN. Oh, light screen wore off. Let me check something. Info. Dig is physical. Well, of course it is, but still. Swift. I mean, this would be a perfect time for Jess to level up, right? I do need to heal, uh, Autumn, uh, Gaia and Jess quite a bit. Ah, dang it. And I won't have a chance. To, I probably won't survive another turn. Let's see. 23. Uh, that was after two Thunder. That was after two Swifts. Uh, average around 11. I think I can survive one more. So we're going to double kick. This might be a problem. Unless he gets a crit. If he gets a crit, I don't care. Oh, six. Why did you use Thundershock? You had me. There, now you're dead. See? You paid for it. You paid dearly. You paid with your Pokemon. And 
You lost. Fried. You dang right you were fried. Uh, wait, can Evie learn, um, dig? It wouldn't make sense, right? Pause, dig. Oh, yeah. All right, he can. That's fine. We're gonna teach it dig. But I need to get rid of a move. Uh, that move would be bite. For now. For now, I gotta get rid of bite. And I need to get rid of that paralysis. All right, so we're gonna... Uh, no, I don't want to sort. I want to heal. I give you that paralyzed heal. And I, I probably should have bought some more potions at the store. All right, so now let's find a trash can. Is it? Oh, I already pushed the switch. It's this one. There it is. Hey, Lieutenant Surge, I found you. Faker? Faker? Think you're the fake gym leader around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Ha! You're not even good enough to be my fake. I'll make you eat those words. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just woke up about an hour ago. I'm kind of out of it right now. Tin Hut, welcome to the Vermilion City Gym. Will you look at that? A pine sized challenger. I'm probably gonna be at my butt whooped. Ha ha ha, you got big and brassy nerves. So take me on with your puny power. Pokemon Battles Wall, I'll show you, civilian. I'll shock you into surrender. Mouth's not moving. How did you say all that and your mouth didn't move, sir? Sir, what is this witchcraft? I just stopped and realized something. I don't know if I'm gonna survive this. I mean, I have two potions. I'm going in here with two potions. Gaia, let's rock this. <laughs> We're gonna start with a dig. All right, Thunderbolt, of course. Of course. Ah, okay. Plop. We're gonna start with a dig. I think I have a couple revives. Get this out of here! Dang it, it didn't, it didn't kill it. Gaia, Gaia, you didn't kill it. You didn't kill it, quick attack. That should though. Whoa, come on! Come on, game, and Gaia's out. Dang it. That's fine, that's cool. Uh, let's bring out Nanashi. Nanashi can resist. And now she can resist electric, so I can probably use a turn or two. Well, first I'm gonna take out this Voltorb with a Vine Whip. I'm gonna take out Voltorb with a Vine Whip. Then now she can, re yeah, can resist, but that's still a decent amount of damage. Oh man, that that sucks. Toby Guru level 19. Oh, that I might be. Yeah. All right, send out Magnemite. I'm gonna take this turn to heal uh, Gaia. That Magnemite's gonna finish me off, but I'm gonna take this turn to heal Gaia, to revive Gaia. All right, so I'm gonna burn a revive, use it on Gaia. If I can take a turn to heal Gaia, that'd be great. Nanashi's not gonna survive this. Nope. Uh. I need a turn, another turn to heal Gaia though. So, I'm gonna have to sack off Emmy. I mean, I could use Jess, but I don't know if Jess is gonna survive a Thunderbolt. So, I need to heal Gaia next turn, this turn, with the potion. Okay. There we go. I think we're doing something. Thunderbolt, yeah, that's gonna take Emmy out. Three of my team members are, like, weak against, uh, I think two of them at least. Two of them? Two of them are weak to, to, uh... Two of them are weak to, um... I need to heal, uh, Jess as well. If I can heal... I don't want to take out... Two. I hope Jess is fast. That's all I'm hoping. I got two moves on this thing that can take out this Magnemite. That being... Dig and Double Kick. As Magnemite's also Steel-type. Okay, Jess is faster. That's good. Jess is faster. Not gonna get hit with Thunderbolt. And dig. I think that's quad weak, actually. Sonic Boom, yeah, Sonic Boom, though. That's good. Oh! Thank you! Free turn! Alright, dig again. <laughs> thank you for friendship. <laughs> it's gonna use Thunderbolt. It's, probably, it's gonna kill me next turn, but thank you for friendship. And boom. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna kill me. I only have one HP. I wasn't gonna survive that. 
Even if it is a Thunderbolt. <laughs> I wasn't going to survive that. I think Dalton can actually finish this off, actually. Actually, I think actually, actually, actually. If I can get Dalton to finish it off and hit his final Pokemon with Leech Seed, I might have a chance. Vine Whip. Okay, that should finish off Magnemite, right? Yep. That's two. This one's a lot closer than the last gym. If I can get a... I think I can get a free turn off his Raichu to hit a Leech Seed. Unless he has something that's going to demolish me, I should be fine. Leech Seed, Thunderbolt. If I can survive, Dalton can survive a Thunderbolt, right? Heck yeah! Leech Seed! Okay, so Leech Seed, he could probably survive another Thunderbolt, which is great. And with the, especially with that Leech Seed going out. I, I think I got this. I think we got everything under control. Everything is Daijobu. We got this. Poison Powder. Thunderbolt, you can survive another Thunderbolt, that's fine. Paralysis, please don't Parahax. Yes! Yes! Okay. Things are looking bad for that Raichu, buddy. Things are looking pretty bad for that Raichu. I think I can actually get a chance to heal, too. Well, I mean, Gaia is fine, so as long as Gaia can survive, I can actually get myself a Vine Whip, right? No, I'm slower. Probably not. I think I can survive this Thunderbolt, right? Yes! 3 HP. I'm paralyzed. Of course I am. Okay. So it's fine if I can get him in yellow hell. I'm pretty sure I can with this poison powder leaf seed. Okay. I do also have another revive. I have seven revives, so... He's gonna get a free turn off me. Unless he misses. Can he miss? Quick attack? Nah, he's probably gonna miss quick attack. Alright, Dalton Painter. That's fine. Because I can bring out Gaia. He's gonna get poison damage. And I think that would be just enough for me to get a dig. I think. Heck, I could probably do a quick attack and end this match. I... I guess I'll risk it. Quick attack. Alright. Yeah, that's just enough. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, Gaia took some damage. That's fine, though. Leech Seed or Poison Powder is gonna finish it off. Wow, Leech Seed! Take that, Squirtle! Take that, Chibi! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> With Leech Seed! Gaia grew level 21. My whole team almost got wiped. And guess what saved me? Leech Seed! Okay, uh, Swift never misses in a 60 power. Quick attack at 40 and goes first. Mm. Dig was basically my gimmick at this point, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of... D okay, uh... It's 60 special. You know what? No, we're not gonna learn Swift. No, because I'm good with my moves right now. I might be, I might not be later, but I'm good with my moves. Surge, you lost on the first try. Now that is indeed a shocker, because I thought I was going to lose. I really thought I was going to lose, no lie. <laughs> Alright, we did it. You're mad, I know. Oh, you're happy. Fine, then take a thunder badge. I don't know why his voice changed, but time stamp hedgy. Time stamp? Time stamp hedgy. We got the thunder badge. What the heck is a time stamp? <laughs> time stamp. Stop, Ryan. Special here, take this. I got your autograph. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that does anything. <laughs> don't worry, that's not all I'm giving you. I got Thunderbolt, TM36. That would be great for my um Pikachu. Honestly, honestly, I think Pikachu can learn it at level 27, so we should be fine. <laughs> Gaia is still shaking uncontrollably. Ah, you deserve a pet. You deserve a pet. So much pet. All the pet. I can just sit here and pet you the rest of the episode, but I'm not going to. But we did the thing! We got our badge! That's three badges! I can't honestly believe I did. My team got almost creamed. Let's check this out real quick. Look at my team! Everybody died but Gaia and Toby! If Gaia were to faint, that would have been it. Like, Gaia, I think, got kind of lucky near the end there. 
Alright, let's go. Is that Misty I see on the top right? Misty, don't act like you can hide from me, girl. Hi. Oh, it's you again. Yeah, I did beat Lieutenant Surge. I must be pretty good. I got lucky. <laughs> Very lucky. And, oh, thanks, Misty. You just saved me a trip to the Pokemon Center. Uh, well, me, I'm going swimming in the sea. There are times when you just want to break free from a puny little pool and swim in the big blue. Where are you headed next? Good question. Am I... Have you been to Diglett's Cave? It's pretty close by. I like how they cut out Diglett's Cave so you didn't just cheat your way through. Want a guide? Sure. I mean, you healed me, so why not? Great, let's go. All right. I, 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 that's not me adding to the let's go counter. That doesn't count. All right. Um, This is Diglett's Cave. Diglett dug this cave path all on their own. Okay, see ya. Be sure to meet lots of Pokemon. Okay, we gotta do some catching. So, let's see. We're at, what, 21 Pokemon? I think. Let me see. In the future, we're gonna need more, so I'm gonna start catching some. Let's see. I can go, I can go east to get to, uh, route, I think that's route what? Uh, let me check. I think that was route seven? I'm here at Diglett's Cave. Uh, wait. Let's go out before I go in, because I think the map is telling me that I'm heading towards Ver Viridian City, which is not where I want to go. Uh, let's see. Bag. Town map. I'm currently at Route 11, actually. Route 11. Route 11. Okay, uh... Let's see what's in this grass. What can I find in this grass? Uh, so far, nothing? I see a, I see a Pidgey over there, but I already have a Pidgeotto. That Pidgey's not gonna do me any good. Drowsy, yes. Let's catch it. Let's catch it, I can use this for the, uh, I can use this for the upcoming gym. And, wait. All right, that's not even gonna get me anything out of that. I would be lucky if I caught this. I was about to say, I'm like, my luck ain't that good. Alright. Uh, na nav, na, wait, what? Alright, it's calming. Raz is the one I need to catch. Alright. There we go. We got, a, we got an excellent off of that? I thought that would only be a great. Two, three, th nah. Alright, try it again. Drowsy, you will not escape me. You're mine! Dang it! I don't think I have it. Dang it. I don't think I have any, uh... I don't think I have any, uh... Higher up Pokeballs yet. I probably should've caught, uh, bought some beforehand. Let me check. I'm trying to check my bag. I have 14 Great Balls. There we go. That should make it a little easier. One. Two. Three. Click. Perfect. We caught a Drowsy. Add a drowsy to our list. If my pro, if my uh, personal profiles taught me anything, next thing I want to know, I want to catch 45 Pokemon. Right now, we're at 22. We're almost halfway there. If you sleep by it all the time, it will sometimes show you dreams it had eaten in the past. I am not sleeping near that thing. That thing is evil. <laughs> what else can I catch in here? Uh, Pidgey? No. There's a lot of Pidgey here. I could use a lure. Do I have a lure? I don't even think I have a lure. Let's see. Um, uh, I have two of them, actually. I could use one. I'm gonna pass. I have a Pidgeotto. Alright, so... Right, let's go back to Diglett's cave, because we need to catch a Diglett. Like, I... It's not gonna do me any good in the next gym, but... It's good for Pokedex completion, right? Right. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Uh, ahem. Let's do this. How exactly are you calling this Diglett's Cave? I haven't run into a single Diglett. Oh, wow. That took all of forever. I, I almost made it through the cave and, I'm, and ran into a Diglett. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and toss a normal Pokeball. All right. There we go. Nice. One, and a two, and a three, and a click. Perfect. We got ourselves a Diglett. 
All right, you caught a Diglett. That's 23 now. All right, so leveled up Jess. Okay, Jess needed that level up. Like, my team is lacking in the level department at this point. And, all right, it's eight foot, it's eight foot tall. Wow, that's a big Diglett. It's eight inches tall and 1.8 pounds normally. Mine's, mine's a big Diglett. Diglett. It prefers dark places. It spends most of its time underground, though it may pop out in caves, pop up in caves, especially Diglett's cave. You know, why is it called Diglett's cave? Because there's Diglett. One whole dig. Okay, two whole Diglett. Two whole Diglett. Three whole Diglett. Okay. There's there's very few Diglett in this Diglett's cave. It's pretty sad, really. Okay, maybe if I go back down. I heard there's a tunnel even darker inside than this one somewhere, somewhere out there. Oh no, I know exactly where he's talking about. I don't want to go in there. But I know I have to, because I had, uh, they showed me Dickless Cakes, I have to go here anyway. Snow, remember me? I want a Professor Oak's assistance. I'm so glad, I'm sorry, I had to zone out. Why don't I show you, show you a neat trick? Actually, no, it's a little bright, too bright out here. Inside, I'll be waiting inside to show you, whenever you're ready, Snow. That doesn't sound inviting. Hi, Emmy, what's up? What's up, I'm trying to talk to you. You're staring at Gaia's tail. Why are you staring at my butt? Why? That's not where you need to stare. What? How much time am I at? It's been 23 minutes. What? So you came. Then let's get down to brass tacks. I got something good to show you. Believe it or not. Okay, you, you mastered light up. Now I'm going to turn off the lights. Oh. There, nice and dark. Now if you calm your heart and breathe deeply, you will be able to sense your surroundings no matter how dark it is. Brah. Bruh. Bruh. See, it seems bright even with the lights off. My keen focus spreads to those around me. Is there a reason why that kid over there is staring at the wall? Here, I can teach you how to do it too. Me! Okay, yeah, Evie wants to learn. Yeah, let Evie learn it. Yeah, nose chopped down. You see, your Evie is special. Alright, Evie, here, follow what I do. Calm your heart, breathe deeply, and. Since your surroundings! And there you go, we did it. And yeah, you learned it. Okay. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I did it, no big deal. Evie, it really is quite wonderful. Now you seek your techniques to your heart's content. Since they're not moves, you can use them even if your Pokemon doesn't have the energy to battle. Uh so basically it he just mentioned that they're HMs. That's all. Alright. Also, East from Cerulean. Okay. So we gotta go back to Cerulean. Uh, just backtrack. Hi, Chibi. <laughs> did you learn how to use light up from Professor Oak's assistant? To yes, I did. What? Yeah, my Eevee is a thing. Some place we might be able to use it. Want me to take you there? Please do. Let's go together. We'll be there in no time. Chaos Control! And we're there. <laughs> Hi. So just head east from here from Cerulean City. That's this direction. Got it? Yeah, that's east. Keep going this way and you'll eventually hit this cave system called the Rock Tunnel. Now here's pitch dark. If you use light up though, you don't have to be scared of the dark. See you around. Okay. Da. He'd be so cute. All right, let's go ahead and hit this, hit this tree real quick. Chop down, chop down, chrome spinning. Sorry, it was there, the moment was right. Uh, you're unavoidable, aren't you? Yes. Dang it. <laughs> That's fine, I need the levels. You have Pokemon with you. You're my easy target. Am I? Am I though? Am I an easy target? Are you calling me easy? How dare you, Picnicker Alicia? With what? Your your Eevee? I have a better Eevee. My Eevee is better than your Eevee. Watch this. Look at this. Mine has a hat. Mine has a suit. My Eevee is automatically better than your Eevee. Look at this double kick. <laughs> By default, my Eevee is better. It's lower level, but mine is better. And yours has growl. Oh. My, your Eevee growled at my Eevee. Wait. Oh, yours is a female. Actually, we're the same level now that I look at it. We're both level 21. All right. So another double kick should probably knock it out. Yep. Ah, oh, it's so cute. I mean, it's faded, but it's cute. 136 points. Nobody leveled up. 
Bloom. Uh, yeah, this is the perfect job for my burb. Go, Toby! <laughs> Destroy this glo uh, gloom. Gloom, gloom! Alright, Toby, you're up. Picnic Alicia sent out gloom, and this thing is going to be. Uh, probably gonna take two turns, but you know what? Look at this. Pew! A third of his HP already got absorbed. Do not absorb my essence. I am a bird. You are not allowed to absorb my essence. Look at this. Look at this bird. Wing attack. Got second one. Acid? Oh, that might be a problem. Don't get poisoned. That is a big problem. Alright, that's fine though. Another wing attack should do the trick. Boom. It's dead. Alright. Boom fainted. And guess what we got? Points! Toby now level 20. Toby's getting up there pretty quickly, even though I don't really use him that much. I'm gonna probably have to use him next gym, though. He's gonna be very helpful. Emmy grew level 17. Actually, Emmy might be helpful as well. You lost. You're strong. I am. You gave me... F you had a gloom and you gave me 420. Girl! <laughs> and two great balls. Girl! Uh, do anyone think that's like, that's gotta be a setup. Like, they know what's up. This girl's over gave me 420 and, and two great balls. This game knows what's up. What's the sign say? Route, route 9, Cerulean City to Rock Tunnel. Uh, nope. Not going either way. I'm going, I'm go not going either way. I'm going to stand in place for the next, like, 30, 35 uh, episodes. This is going to be the world's longest let's play and I'm still here in Rock Tunnel. <laughs> I'm not even in Rock Tunnel yet. I'm in Cerulean. Camper Drew. Okay, Camper Drew, what are you going to send me? Sand Shrew? I mean, really? You're going to send me a sand? You're going to put a Sand Shrew in front of my face? You want to know what I'm going to put in front of your face? This might be not, this might not be uh, helpful, but we're going to dig. Uh, if this thing has Earthquake, I'm kind of boned. Nah, think about it. Fury Swipe. It does not have Earthquake. It's a Sand Shrew. That didn't do much. Oh, it, it dig. It dug. I, I wish I had Earthquake. I'm gonna also dig. Look at this. You too. <laughs> Bye. Nobody's here. <laughs> Hi. And dig. <laughs> oh, it's doing it again. I'm glad I, I don't even win in a speed tie at this point. Look at this. Bye. <laughs> Actually, having dig battles are probably my favorite things about uh, Gen 1. See? And it went, and it I win a speed tie. Well, it's not even a speed tie. I'm just faster. So, I can just get away with using dig. It can't hit me, because it'll come back from its dig. And then I come back and hit it with dig. <laughs> you dig? <laughs> I was waiting for that chance to set up for that joke. I've been waiting for years. Radicate. Nope. Nope. Ain't no point. Look at this. Look at this. Double kick. Oh, it got quick. You got quick attack. Okay. Not much, but this will do a lot. A uh, little. About half? Yeah. So another double kick should destroy it, right? Crunch. Crunch may hurt a little. I hurt a little. Drop my, drop that special. Oh, drop that D though. Drop that D though. I dropped you, your D, D for dead. Ha! <laughs> this is probably my most obnoxious episode yet. I'm sorry. Guy grew to level 22. It's not really obnoxiousness. It's hype. I am hype. Let's go. Let's do this. All right, Nanashi grew to level 20. Wait, 21. That means something. You also gave me 420. What is it with these campers giving me 420? This also means Nanashi is evolving! Yes! We did the thing! We're getting a better plant. We're getting a bigger plant. We're getting a... I'm about to say victory bell. A weeping bell. <laughs> We're not there at the victory bell yet. We're at a weeping bell. Nanashi's now a weeping bell. Let's go. Weeping bell's data was added to Pokédex. When hungry, it swallows anything that moves. Its hapless prey is dissolved by strong acids. It is a big weeping bell. 
compared to, well, according to its uh, Pokedex. It's a pretty big Weeping Bell. Let's go ahead and grab this ball, and it's a Super Potion. I do need to heal, though. I probably should heal before I end the Rock Tunnel. Alright. Haha, I got away from you. Okay, and there you go. I'm probably going to try to avoid a couple of trainers because I really, really want to get the Rock Tunnel before the end of the episode. What's in this? Uh, it's a Spearow. Wait, have I... Spearow! What? Hello! Uh, have I caught a Spearow? I've already caught a Spearow, so we're not going to catch a Spearow. However, we're going for the Spearow over here. <laughs> Hello, Spearow! Alright, let's go ahead and get this little Spearow over here. We're going to hit it with a Raz. Alright. No, no, no. I don't want to throw a Pokeball. I want to throw a Great Ball. Alright. There we go. Hit it in his foot. Can we catch the Firo? First ball. First ball. First ball. Freaking so close, man. Alright. I missed. I, I need you for Pokedex completion, Firo. Just stay in the ball like a normal Pokemon, right? Oh, it, oh, it did. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. We caught a we caught a burb. Nobody level uh, Dalton almost leveled up though. That's pretty nice. We caught a Firo. That's another entry to the Pokédex. A Pokémon that dates back many years. If it senses danger, it flies high and away instantly. It's a big Firo. It's a huge Firo. I caught a Firo. Let's do this. Let's Nidoran uh, Nidorino actually. Shall I do? Shall I go for a second? Hi, you. You encountered Wild Nidorino. We're gonna hit it with that, with that sweet, sweet raspberry. You should make it pretty easy to catch. Get ready. Catch. Right? Can we get lucky? One, two, three. Really? <laughs> first ball. Okay. We caught a Nidorino. That's the first throw. Great throw. New Pokemon. Technique bonus. Four of my team members leveled up. Look at that. Emmy grew to level 18. Jess grew to level 18. Jess wants to learn Light Screen. What can I get rid of in favor of Light Screen? Nothing. Sorry, Jess. Not learning Light Screen. Don't worry, I have my reasons. Toby grew to level 21. Dalton grew to level 21. I think we're in pretty good shape, actually. But let's do this. Nidorino's data is added to the Pokedex. Its horn contains venom. If it stabs an enemy with the horn, the impact makes the poison leak out. That's a tiny... I guess its height stayed the same. Okay, Nidorino's in our box. Alright, can we get this item though? There's another one. If I want to chain Nidorino, I know where to chain him. Super Potion! Wait, don't I have like a Moonstone or something? Hold on, let me look. Um... Power? Is it in power-ups? No, I have none. Alright, I have nothing. I think I'm able to find a Moonstone in a uh, Rock Tunnel, though. I think. Oh! Team Rocket. I forgot this guy was a thing. Well, hey! Well, hey, what are you, Psycho? You're the kid that's been getting on in our way all the time. How are you hopping like that? What? Oh. Hi. It's because of you that Team Rocket's reputation was totally smashed. We'll never be able to face the boss at this rate. Which means, well, we'll have to take our revenge on you. But, uh, hello? I still had that blank smile on your face. Hold it. Eh. I know that, Lapras. It's Asteroid! I knew it! No, I'm kidding. It's Lorelei. <laughs> Ganging up on a child. I absolutely can't forgive that. Whore! It says whore! What? Who are you calling a whore? Who are you, lady? says whore. I, I know. Who are you, lady? We'll gang up and take you on, too. Really? I'll handle these three. Could you take that other one for me? Okay, cool. Leave it to me. I don't know. Good answer. <laughs> uh, yeah, just give me that blank stare. You know, that 50, like, like 10,000 yard stare. Like, I've seen some stuff. And I'm not too happy for it. Team Rocket Grunt, let's do this. Raticate. You, you screwed up now, buddy. Look at this. Let's do this. I'm putting my rat, my, my rat, that's not a rat, that is a fox-like creature, and you know it, game. Double kick, super fang. Wait, did I get a free heal? I think I got a free heal out of this, actually. Hold on. 
so me going to the Pokemon Center would be kind of pointless now, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. What was the point of that? I just wanted to go to the Pokemon Center because I have a reason to super fight. That's gonna hurt. It's this battle that's the reason I'm going to the Pokemon Center after this. That I knew that that Pokemon Center would have been pointless. Especially after the heal I got. So, super effective, hit two times, eradicate fainted, we got points. And nobody leveled up. Team Rocket Run, yep. What if the boss hears about this? Then, yeah, you're done. You're done, fool. Just how strong are you? Just how strong am I? Yes. Incredibly powerful ice type Pokemon. Who are you? I am Lorelei, the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Shall I freeze you all solid too? Lorelei, you're vicious, girl. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, yeah, that's Elite Four. Let's get out of here. <laughs> you're a pretty talented trainer. It was plain to see during your battle. So I see you're collecting. Gym. I see. So you're collecting gym badges, and you have an Eevee on your head. I look forward to when you come to challenge the Pokemon League. I don't know how I read all that normally. Until then, see ya. Don't you have fly or something? You have to go all the way to the Indigo Plateau. I need to heal first, so I'm gonna do that. And next time on Eevee, this has been a pretty long episode. We're at, what, 37 minutes? Yeah. I sit here and talk about how long my videos are a lot. And I don't really like stretching them that long. But, I mean, I would probably end the episode around two minutes ago if it weren't for that battle. But anyway, next time on Eevee, we're gonna go ahead and start up Rock Tunnel. So we're gonna park ourselves. Actually, we're gonna go back in the Pokemon Center for just a sec. We're gonna park ourselves. Okay, not right here. Anyway, uh, anyway, we're gonna park ourselves right in front of the Pokemon Center. Next time on Eevee, we're going to that. There's a Nidoran. There's a Nidorina up there. I think I can spare one episode, right? I can't let this one pass me by. I'm sorry. I have a chance to catch a tiny knit arena. Alright. Weighing on a good note, right? Catching a knit arena? Just complete the set? Oh! Oh! Okay! <laughs> Two in a row that I caught on the first ball! Alright. So I should level up my team. Gaia and Nanashi leveled up. Nice! And that's what I'm ending on. Next time on Let's Go Eevee, we're exploring Rock Tunnel. That should give us another uh, entry in the Pokedex, by the way. Yep. When resting deep in its burrow, its barbs always retract. This is proof that it is relaxed. Right now, it's never relaxed. It always stays in this pose. All right, but next time on Eevee, I'm just looking around, sorry. Next time on Eevee, let me end the episode before I forget to end the episode. Next time on Eevee, we're going there. Till then, Hedgy out. Bye, yo. Here we go, off the rails. You know, it's time to raise ourselves.